Yo guys, what is going on? And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best Keys 2X input V2 settings for Fortnite Season 8. These are all competitive settings that the pros use, such as Booga, Clicks, all the pros, any pro you can think of, they are most likely using this. And if they aren't, let me know in the comments down below. But anyway guys, before the video starts, make sure to subscribe and hit that like button. Let's get into it. Now guys, what you want to do first is open up your browser, and once you have your preferred browser open, you're going to type in at the top keys, 2x input. Now I'll leave a link in the description below uh, for this link. Now once you're on this site, you're just going to click the download button here, and now uh, this is the new version of keys 2x input, and I know some of you guys uh, in the past have seen versions like this. But those are all older versions and now what you want to do once you're here is you're going to click download and it's going to bring you to this screen keys to x input v2 download now since i'm on windows i'm going to click mega.nz mirror it's going to bring me to a mega link and once i'm at this mega link i'm going to click download now i've already downloaded this but i will show you guys anyways so you click download now once it's done downloading you click save save it to your downloads or your desktop and once you're done doing that, you're just going to double click this to run it. Now it's going to pop up like this. All you have to do is click more info, run anyways. It's completely safe, no viruses or anything like that. Uh, you're going to go to here, it's going to say uh, installation. And you're going to click I agree to the license terms and condition. You can read through this if you want, just there's not really a need to. Uh, you can if you want though. You hit install, It'll install, successfully installed, then you can close it or launch it, just launch it. So now um, what you want to do is click right here and uh, you're going to create a new profile, convert v1 values, and now you're going to click next and you're going to name it whatever you need. I'm going to do test, save, and now you have your new options. So now what you want to do in this is uh, I will leave the values in the description below. All you want to do is copy these values right here. I'll leave uh, I'll leave these in the description below. For your diagonal up, you're going to do 70.60. Then for your strafes, you're going to do 83.10. And then for your diagonal downs, you're going to do 100.20. And then for your speed, you're going to keep it at 100. Now you're just going to hit apply. And then it should work like that. Now uh, everything else can just stay the same. This is Fortnite Advanced and Fortnite you can do either one but it's most likely going to keep it at Fortnite advanced now you don't really need to configure any of this um, unless you get told by anyone else but yeah so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to uh, i'm going to minus this Alrighty, guys i just loaded into Fortnite. and what you want to do is go up here to your settings uh, and then go to keybinds uh, keyboard presets and what you want to delete is all three of these. The delete, the move forward, the move left, move back, and move right. Now the reason you're doing this is because keys to x input won't work with it if it has those already preset. So just go ahead and delete them off there. It won't affect anything in your game. Trust me, it's completely fine. We're going to go ahead and load into a creative match. Alrighty guys, so now I am in a creative match. And as you can see, my double movement is working. I will show you my settings right now. We got the key binds removed and we have double movement. Oh my god, I just hit a clam! <laughs> But yeah guys, overall, that is how to get Keys 2X Input V2 to work on Fortnite Season 8. Uh, if you guys did find this video helpful, please do make sure to uh, smack that like button and hit subscribe and turn on post noties so that you can get notified whenever I post a new video. I'm probably going to be starting these more often, these tutorial type tip things. And if you guys do like this and want me to continue, please let me know down in the comments below. Other than that guys, I will see you guys later. Peace.